As day broke over the fields surrounding Sharpsburg on September 17, 1862, the men of the 14th Brooklyn pushed south along the Hagerstown Turnpike with their goal of capturing the Dunker Church. Here, along with their brothers in the 6th Wisconsin, would shred through wave after wave of Confederates sent against them, only to run out of steam just south of the cornfield as they met a renewed Confederate attack by Hood's Texans who managed to push them back, marking the climax of Hooker's push for his goal. The 14th Brooklyn Chasseurs, officially known as the 84th New York Infantry or 14th Regiment New York State Militia, was officially constituted on May 13, 1847, when the New York State Legislature consolidated individual militia companies into regiments. The main purpose of this militia regiment was to protect New York City and its surrounding areas, but turned out to be more of a social club, where men of venerable lineage could train in military tactics and spend their weekends with other militia men. From 1854 to the Civil War, the 14th was called many times to quell riots and protect the dockyard from rebel attacks. In 1860, the United States Zouav Cadets, the traveling drill team of Chicago under the command of Elmer E. Ellsworth, impressed the men of the 14th who decided to copy their French style of uniforms but opted for the Chasseur style instead of the Zouav style. Their uniform would be with the regiment for their entire service in the war. When the Civil War first broke out with the firing on Fort Sumter, the 14th volunteered for three years of national service to suppress the rebellion. Colonel Alfred M. Wood would lead the regiment south to Washington, D.C. with the help of Abraham Lincoln. He would grow very fond of the regiment. The regiment would become his personal guard when he was in camp or near the battlefield. Because of this attention by the president, the 14th was nicknamed Lincoln's Pups or Lincoln's Pets. The 14th Brooklyn would be baptized by fire at the first battle Manassas. Here, the 14th with the famed 11th New York Fire Zouabs would be held in reserve until the latter part of the battle until the federal attack on Henry Hill. They would be guarding Ricketts Battery from repeated assaults made by Jackson's Virginians and them themselves would do the same against Jackson's line, almost routing it a few times. The constant charging of the 14th Brooklyn would catch the eyes of General Jackson himself who would proclaim, Hold on boys, here come those red-legged devils again. This name would stick with the regiment until the end, though their efforts on the field would be in vain. The 14th would flee with the rest of the Federals at the end of the day, losing the very guns they were ordered to protect Colonel Wood and 115 casualties. After the battle, the state of New York decided to change the regiment's designation from the 14th State Militia to 84th New York Volunteer Infantry. This angered both the regiment and the citizens of Brooklyn who got General Irvin McDowell to settle the dispute. His words bestowed upon the regiment the motto which would follow the regiment then on. You were mustered by me into service of the United States as part of the militia of the state of New York known as the 14th. You have been baptized by fire under that number and as such you shall be recognized by the United States government and by no other number. The 14th would be known by many other nicknames but too many to list so here they are. The 14th would be attached to the 1st Corps and held in reserve during McClellan's advance toward Richmond during the Peninsula Campaign and Seven Days Battle, but would join the Army of Virginia in the 3rd Corps for the Northern Virginia Campaign. The 14th would see fighting on the first day at Groveton's Farm of 2nd Manassas and would continue to protect the Army's left flank from attack. On the third day, they would throw themselves against Jackson's line in the lead, but would be but would break under fire, losing roughly 120 men. After the campaign, they would rejoin the 1st Corps in a brigade comprised of the 22nd, 24th, and 30th New York Regiments and the 2nd United States Sharpshooters. During the Maryland Campaign, the 14th Brooklyn would be under the command of Major William H. D. Bavoise, attached to Colonel Walter Phelps Jr.'s 1st Brigade and Abner's Doubleday's 1st Division and Hooker's 1st Corps. At South Mountain, the 14th and his brigade would attack Turner's Gap in unison with the Iron Brigade of the West, beating back the Confederates while losing 28 men. 
Their brigade would earn the title of Iron Brigade of the East here. At the Battle of Antietam, the understrength red-legged devils would follow the westerners into the cornfield, filling their gaps when they would open. Major Dawes of the 6th Wisconsin recalls the action. Red-legged devils came into our line closing the awful gaps. Now is the pinch. Men and officers of New York and Wisconsin are fused into a common mass in the frantic struggle to shoot fast. Everybody tears cartridges, loads, passes guns, or shoots. 14th, along with their blood brothers in the 6th, would reach the furthest point of Hooker's attack before being pushed back by Hood's Texans, losing 27 out of 100 in the process. The Red-Legged Devils advance into the battle with the pattern infield M1853. This gun is mass-produced in England and purchased by the U.S. government for the war effort for its dependability in accuracy and in range. The 14th Brooklyn is famous for its uniform, an Americanized version of the French Chasseurs. Their uniform consists of a red and blue kepi with the number 14 on the front. The tops consist of a red false vest underneath a blue shell jacket with both adorned with 14 buttons on each side. Their bottoms consist of non-baggy red zouave trousers with white gaiters covering the lower legs and shoes. The 14th Brooklyn brings a single flag into battle, the regimental flag. This flag gives homage to the unit, their state, their nation, and their history, with a motto underneath saying, the price of liberty is eternal vigilance. You can find the 14th Brooklyn on the maps of Hagerstown Turnpike as they push towards the Dunker Church with the 6th Wisconsin and Miller's Cornfield where they take the brunt of the attacking Texans. Now what would you do? Join up with the Red-Legged Devils and march into glory? Or will you send these city boys back to their cramped slums?